Welcome back everybody. I hope you guys are enjoying the channel. If you like today's video, give it a thumbs up. And if you're not a subscriber, go ahead, click on that subscribe button. So in today's video, what we're going to talk about is how to get Cisco video endpoints to join into a Microsoft Teams meeting. And we're going to do that utilizing something called WebRTC, where we use the Chromium web browser that's built into these things to join a Microsoft Teams meeting. It's going to be a lot like using Chrome or Firefox on a Mac or a PC to join a meeting, very similar, but it's going to actually be done on the internal processing of your Cisco video devices. So that will work with any of the newer devices that are out there, WebEx boards, kits, kit pluses, pros, any of those things will be able to do that. Now there's two variations on how to get Cisco video devices to join into meetings. What we're going over today again is the WebRTC. There is another method called CVI. There are a couple of videos out there already today talking about the CVI method. The big difference is CVI is a service and you need to subscribe to that service in order for that to work. Or the company that's inviting you to a Microsoft Teams meeting needs to have that CVI service subscribed to in order for your video endpoints to dial into it. The WebRTC is gonna be the most universal. The big difference between the WebRTC and the CVI is dual screen type of experience. With a single screen experience, you probably won't see a difference between the WebRTC and the CVI. Um, but with a dual screen, the CVI experience will allow you to have a, like a video on one side and presentation on the other. Uh, WebRTC right now is limited to kind of a one screen experience, but again, it is the most universal. So I don't have to worry about who's subscribing to what CVI service. We're just using WebRTC with a built-in um, browser on the endpoint. So with that, I invited this board to a Microsoft Teams meeting. And you need to have one button to press set up in order for this to work. We're going to go over some of that in a little bit and on how to do it and everything, how to get these video endpoints set up. But first, I just kind of want to demo the actual experience. And what I have here is again my WebRTC meeting that pops up when I walk into the room and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click on join. You can see the little Microsoft Teams logo in the middle there. It just popped up. Okay, so we're connected into the meeting here and basically what it's telling me here is once the host admits us into the meeting, the WebEx board will be able to join the meeting. Now you can kind of see that this really does resemble if I was to open up a Microsoft Teams meeting inside a web browser on my PC. It's got the little toggle buttons here, custom setup, and it's even got a close button at the top here. Now, none of this stuff is actually going to work because it's all in the internal web browser and I'm not actually able to control that. So if I want to do things like turn off the camera or turn off the microphone or anything like that or, or end the meeting, you actually do it from the normal controls at the bottom or on your touch panel, whatever you guys are using. So if I want to mute, I touch the mute button and you can see the slider there kind of turn off. If I want to unmute, slider goes back and I can also do the same thing for video back and forth. We'll leave these on for now. And then end or close, that's the normal close button right there. So I'm ready to go. I've adjusted all my settings. Now let's have the host admit us into this meeting so we can kind of take a look at what this meeting is going to do. And you can see we're actually in the meeting right now. This particular meeting, I don't know what's going on here. It seems like some sort of concert is playing, but that's, what's, that's what this Microsoft Teams meeting, what they're doing in here to show off the WebRTC. So with that, I mean, that's really as simple as it is. You have the buttons at the bottom again to control everything while you're inside the meeting. But let's turn this around. Let's figure out and show you guys how to actually configure this and get this to work. So to get this to work, you're gonna log into Control Hub, admin.webex.com. On the left side here, the first thing we need to do is make sure that hybrid calendaring is set up. So under services, click on hybrid. And then here's your hybrid calendaring options. Now I'm not gonna go through how to exactly set this up. My buddy Adam already did a video on this. He did a really good job. I'm just gonna to link to that video to get this set up. 
But what hybrid calendaring allows us to do is to get that big green button or that one button to push on the screen. And it also gives our video devices email addresses. So when I get a Microsoft Teams invite, I can go ahead and I can forward that invite off to that video room. Or maybe we're, maybe we're using Microsoft Teams internal and when I'm creating the meeting, I can add that room from its email address. I can do it right from the Microsoft Teams invite already. And then what happens is once the endpoint gets that meeting invitation, it can go through, it knows how to parse out the time, so it knows when to put that big green button up. And then it, it can also see the link that's in that invitation. So when I push the big green button, it's actually pushing that link and that's kicking off that web browser type of experience inside of the video endpoint. So get that set up. And then what you're gonna do once you have that all set up is go over to devices, click on settings up here at the top, scroll down and then we're gonna make sure that WebRTC support is enabled by clicking on that button right there. Now, when that's enabled, you're gonna go over one more step, click on devices, and we just wanna make sure that the web engine is also enabled inside the device. So click on the device you wanna set it up for. By default, it should be enabled already, but we're just gonna go under device configuration here, just to double check. So if I type in web, click on web engine, we can click on mode. You can see it's already on. Again, that's by default there. And then you have that all set up. So as long as you have the WebRTC set up under settings, you have the web engine set up under here, and you have the hybrid calendaring set up, you guys are good to go. So really not too difficult. And like I said, probably the most universal way to get into a Microsoft Teams meeting. Again, there is that other option, the CVI option, but the person creating these Microsoft Teams invites needs to be the one subscribing to that service. So it is a little bit limited if you're getting invitations from other organizations and other companies that are using Microsoft Teams and they want you to join their meetings. The only way you're gonna be able to do that is with the WebRTC option here. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments section below and I'll get back to you and we can have a conversation about things. Uh, again, thanks so much for watching.